Hi, this is Vicki with My Paper Connection. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in the United States, and I'm going to make this gorgeous card for you. Isn't that just beautiful? I used the Forever Blossom stamp set along with the basket weave embossing folder and some blends, and I made this gorgeous card. Um, I, today, I'm not, this is pretty, you can tell from this, this is kind of a um, wedding or anniversary or something like that. I don't really know that many people getting married, so I don't want to make another one of those, but I'm going to turn this one into a birthday card. And I'm using the sentiment, happy birthday, and wishing you every happiness this special day brings from Peaceful Moments. Both of these card, or both of these stamp sets are available in the... 2020 mini catalog and if you don't already have a demonstrator and you would like a copy of this catalog along with a celebration brochure I would love to be your demonstrator and um, you can purchase supplies from me all you have to do is just go to the website that's listed above in my video and just let me know that you would like a catalog just hit contact me and let me know and I'll get one out to you in the mail all right without further ado let's get started playing for my card today, I am using Blushing Bright. It's a beautiful pink color, and um, I just love this color. I'm not a huge pink person, but I just love how this turns out. And um, I, I actually have mine cut at four and a quarter by 11, and it's scored at five and a half. But don't worry, all the dimensions and the sizes, everything, all my supplies will be listed in my website, which again is at the top of the screen. I'm also using Smoky Slate. And um, what I'm going to do is to run it through the Big Shot using um, the basket weave embossing folder. And then I'm also going to use the Stitched So Sweetly die for that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and get those two things done. I'll be right back. The stitch so sweetly, I have to say that slowly or I won't get it all out, is a new die set that's in the, the new mini catalog. And um, it has some of the sweetest little images to it. I'll show you. Um, it's, it's rectangles and they have like a lace border around them, but they also have these really fun dies that coordinate with the stamp set. And they actually will cut those out, those it, each this die set actually has each of these shapes. I couldn't resist it. I had to get it. So um, anyway, you'll probably be seeing more of that. All right. So this is my cute little lacy edged rectangle, and then here is my basket weave paper. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? I love it. Love 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 it. Okay, let's get our stamping done. We're going to use Smoky Slate, and I'm just going to put Happy Birthday up here in the corner, right up here, like that. Then I'm bringing in the inside of my card, which is four by five and a quarter, and I'm just going to stamp my sentiment on the inside. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is to ink up my stamp with the flowers. This is a pretty large stamp, and anytime I have a stamp this large, I like to lay it face up and then just use my stamp, my ink pad, and ink face side down. Or that didn't make any sense, did it? <laughs> to ink it with the face side up like this. And I just re inked my ink pad. Uh, over the weekend I think and it's a little bit juicy so let's let's give it a test drive first and see what happens oh that looks perfect okay let's ink it again I tried it earlier on camera and it was just yucky so I cut that out and I'm just redoing it okay Alrighty, so I'm just going to place it here. Um, I'm using thick Whisper White cardstock because I'm going to be using my blends. And um, you just get a much better coverage with your, your blends when you use thick Whisper White. The, it just reacts with the paper so well. I'm using Flirty Flamingo. And then I'm going to use Old Olive and 
Daffodil Delight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and do light, and then I'm going to come back, see all of these different um, marks, um, the different designs and the, the shading and all of that. Stamping Up provides you with great lines that you can bring in really pretty shading with. So what I'll do is I'll go light and then I'll come back in those shaded areas with the dark and then I'll come back with the light. And what happens, because these are alcohol markers, it just kind of moves the ink around and it, it just creates depth and dimension and it's just so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and um, I'm not gonna talk, I'll fast forward through all of this, okay? Okay, I've got that all colored in. And you can notice that there is lots of different dimension and texture, um, or appears to be. And I got out of the lines a couple times, and that's okay too, because I'm gonna cut it out. Um, uh, you notice that I used one end of one and then another end. You have a bullet point, and that makes, you, um, makes it easy to get into small places, and then you have a more of a brush tip and that makes it easier to get a lot done quickly. So I'm gonna go cut this out with my die and I'll be right back. Okay, look at this die, isn't this amazing? Cuts it right out, so, so pretty. Okay, so let's put our card together. The first thing I'm gonna do is to bring in my mini dimensionals and my paper piercing tool or my take your pick tool and um, you can see where I had stamped earlier and didn't like the way the coverage was. Okay, so I'm gonna put little mini dimensionals on all the little places that are small enough um, to be able to have one of these behind it, but not where it would show. I've figured out something as I've been doing videos. I have a hard time thinking and talking <laughs> at the same time. That's probably not a good thing. <laughs> I'll try to say something and I can't think of the word while I'm actually doing something. Oh, it's frustrating. Okay, so now I'm just going to bring this back in. Is I just love it. I can't say enough about it. I'm going to use my take your pick tool and just take the backings off of these dimensionals. I love being able to do this because sometimes they're hard to take off and then they also just kind of corral those little backings so that they're not all over your room. Just like that, it's all off. And they're not scattered everywhere. All right, so let's put this on and we're gonna put it right about here like that. Okay, then we're gonna bring in our basket weave we're just going to put some glue. Actually, I think I did dimensionals. So let's do it. Hey, the more the merrier, right? <laughs> let's not get it so thick it won't go through the uh, post office. But I don't think that's going to happen with this. Okay, get this out again. Just make sure it's even all the way around. Then place it down like that. I am going to put some Wink of Stella on this just to shimmer it up just a little bit. There we go. It just kind of makes the colors of it look even richer. And then we're going to just glue that onto the front of our cardstock, our card base. 
I live in Georgia where um, cherry blossoms are a big, big deal. We have um, every year in March in Macon, which is about 15 minutes from me, um, they have a cherry blossom festival. And so local artists will take these poodles and they'll decorate them all up, these wooden poodles that stand on easels, and they'll decorate them all up and have them say different things. And it's just a, a real fun weekend, a festival where you can um, celebrate art and life and spring coming. People will have um, painted cherry blossoms all over their windows of their cars, all over the windows of their businesses. I mean, it's a really big deal. And they're so pretty. Cherry blossoms are so, so pretty. I had a runaway pearl there. Okay. It looks like it's not wanting to glue down quite yet. I may need to put just a little bit more in there. When you have an embossed surface, sometimes it, it doesn't want to adhere. So you just kind of have to give it a little extra love. Just caress it. Give it a little bit extra love. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to do, and my card will be finished, is I'm taking a Flirty Flamingo uh, stamping blend, and I'm taking pearls, and I'm just going to color, whoops. Now, you know, I can't get these things off for the life of me if you've watched my videos, and I just go to color it, and it goes flying off. Okay. So you're just going to paint using your Stampin' Blend. You're just going to paint on that color on those pearls. And just give it a second to let it dry. So I'm going to put one up here. I love that these are self-adhesive. Oh, that came off really nicely. Yay! Stick that over there. Oh, we're going to have to chase this one. It's playing hard to get. There we go. Well, it's on my finger, but it'll work. I said it was the last thing, putting those pearls on was the last thing I was going to do, but it's really not. The very last thing I'm going to do is to tie a bow using this petal pink with um, gold trim ribbon. And the way I do that, and I hate doing it on camera, but I make a, a bunny ear and another bunny ear, and then you just tuck that under like you like when you're tying your shoe. And you grab it and pull it. Well, you're supposed to grab it and pull it through, but um, I have the hardest time doing this on camera. Okay, here we go. There we go. Just like that. You pull it through. Then I hold the knot in place and then tighten that up. So you make it the size that you want it to be. I don't actually hold it when I tighten it. I hold it when I loosen it to make it right. There we go. Perfect. All right, so let me cut, uh, cut off the tail here. I think I'll cut that a little shorter. Okay, and then I'm just going to use a glue dot to adhere it. And you probably wonder what is that crazy bow on my glue dot ring. Tip for you. It keeps this from just flying out everywhere. I like a little bit of order. <laughs> I like to do things in an orderly way and an efficient way. And um, this takes care of it for me because I don't have to chase this around. So it lifts up and there's little glue dots under there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But if you just take your bow and press it down like that on it, when you pick it up, your glue dot's going to come with you. So I'm just going to place it right there like that. And then, ta-da, my card is finished. I'll let you in on a little secret. This doesn't have stem because I accidentally cut it too short. I like this one better where you can see the stem on it. So pretty. I love it. What do you think? Do you like it? I hope you did. I hope you liked this video, and I hope you liked the card. If you did, I, I love to hear your comments or your questions. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, just hit the button and subscribe, and then ring the bell, and you'll get noticed when I have other videos coming out. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Bye now.